Today we're gonna try to recreate Joy Division's Unknown Pleasure poster using code. Let's go. First things first, color. Nice. Okay, now the bounding box, center stage. Perfect. Okay, now the squiggly lines. Uh, okay, I don't know how to do it yet. I'm gonna figure out as we go, but for starters, I'm just gonna add straight lines. Now, here's the tough part. We need to have a single wave where we're gonna make it the base one and each one relies on it. So we're gonna have a base wave, which we're gonna add the wiggles. I'm gonna call them nudges, okay? We're gonna add them there because they're gonna be the pulse of noise that we're gonna add. Okay, now let's test it out. Here's a gap. Why is there a gap? Oh, <laughs> silly me. I, I don't know why I added this condition. Okay, let's fix that. Wait, <laughs> why is it all shifting to the right? Mm. Okay, let's do some tweaking. Yeah, more tweaks. <laughs> uh, more tweaks. Uh, some more tweak. Somehow it looks worse. <laughs> okay, I, I'm okay. This is fine. Uh, let's add some noise and a bit of amplifier. Mm, I, I see that we have single bumps. We need to add more bumps. Three extra bumps and uh, nope, it's a mess. Damn. It's like a kid with a crayon. Okay, what if I added some fill below? Oh wow, well, why does it look like I tore a fabric of space and time? At this point, I think I officially failed. And you know what? That's okay. Uh, that's the fun part of generative art. I left the code up on GitHub, so if you want to test it out and remix it, then please do. Lesson, code doesn't always cooperate. Sometimes it works, sometimes it glitches out the universe. So let's embrace the chaos.